what's up guys good day to all of you guys so okay i am out in the garden it is already about 7 30 um and i did not get to plant my seeds i'm distracted by my german shepherd over there looking at my ducks Anyway, I didn't get to finish planting out my seeds uh, during my last video because I was just too tired. And so I bought my seeds out today. I already planted some herbs like cilantro, parsley, and dill inside of the bottom layer of the green stalk. And I still have this one... Um, forever garden bed that I want to get out uh get planted out so in my last video I planted out these three tomatoes these were from suckers I also planted those squash plants and I have this bed that's empty and I have these seeds and so I was going to pick out some seeds out of here and I decided that I want to plant this uh bed with some fall uh crops so we have uh some beets some carrots radishes Maybe I'll plant this whole bed with uh, root vegetables. I have my daughter and I here planting parsnips in this bed. We also have some carrots that are popping up that I guess were in here from last uh, spring that didn't come up. But as you can see, I wanted to check on my cucumbers and the plants that we planted, uh, the transplanted in here, and they are doing good. Oh my goodness, I just looked up and saw my first Mexican sour gherkin, and that bug almost touched me. So I just wanted to make a quick round and check on all of the transplants that I planted here. These were all of the sucker uh, transplants, I believe. That's where they are a little bigger. And then these are the ones that we started from seed and transplanted the other day. And huh, interesting, this one that I left in here died. So. We have other tomato plants that we can change that with. And then these last three were three in a, a cup. And I transplanted them, broke them up, and only looks like two survived. So that's good to know. I'll have to take this one out. Oh, happy birthday, little zucchini plant on this opposite side of the bed. There's still some onions in here. These are onions. On the opposite side from the tomatoes, I planted different types of zucchini and you can see one right there. And I saw another one right here. So that's nice. So I still have some tomato plants that I can replace the ones that died with, but I think it's only two so far that I saw died. So one of these salt and pepper cucumbers didn't make it. So I think I'll plant this side since I have no more cucumbers with pole beans. So I'll go get those seeds. Wow, these kakuzi plants have really, this one's already producing tendrils, has really grown since I put them outside. Okay, enough talking. Let me get some of these pole beans to plant on that side of the trellis. I have Kentucky Wonder pole beans that we'll plant over there in place of that cucumber. Tomorrow we are actually, um, Sunday's actually my son's birthday and um, we are actually going to be, I'm going to take him, um, what's it called? Huh. Oh, zip lining. But he doesn't know. It's a surprise. He'll be 15 and I can't believe it. So big. I can't believe I'm old enough to have a 15 year old son. So I'm just going to go ahead and plant one seed and then half at the base and then one in the middle and then one at the line again, one in the middle, and so on. This trellis, I actually had my noodle beans here and these pods have dried up and fell and there's actually beans inside there. So I'll actually take them out and replant them. These I actually think were dragon tongue bush beans. I mean dragon tongue pole beans. So we'll open these as well and plant them. So right here I have two different types of beets. I have the golden, was Detroit Detroit golden and the Detroit uh, dark red beet. And so I'm gonna plant this in maybe half of the bed. I have not had good success with uh, beets in the past, growing beets in the past. I, they've not gotten very big heads. 
but I'm gonna continue to try. These seeds are pretty big, which makes it uh, easier to plant than say like carrots. If you hear that noise in the background, that is my husband. Uh, our lawnmower um, tire got a hole in it, so we got a new one, so I think he's just testing it uh, to make sure it's working good and all the things. I have like maybe 30 more minutes before um, we have to start putting away the animals. Um, we put them away at dusk. We still have some chickens that do not go in um, on their own and so my daughters go out there and uh, put them away and then we put, uh, we already put away the ducks a little earlier than usual, like 30 minutes earlier than usual because we were over here my dog were, my dog was messing with them. So we just put them away and then we still have uh, goats, yes. Thank you, Nail. We still have goats that we would need to put away. Y'all ain't even gonna lie. I didn't even feel like planting those seeds perfectly. And like I started poking holes and putting one by one, but it was just going by too slow. And so I just ended up sprinkling them <laughs> and then rubbing my hands all over the soil. Um, and then if any one, if I saw any um, beet seeds sticking up, then I went ahead and pushed them inside the soil. And then with my turnips, I just sprinkled them. The turnip seeds, if you're not familiar, is like a little dot, like kind of like a broccoli or something. I just sprinkled them over the rest of the bed, even over the beets. And so, and then just moved it all across. So we should see that, that, that should be fun. But we now have golden beets, red beets, and turnips all inside this forever garden bed and we shall see what happens. If you guys aren't familiar, there is this book uh, about companion plants and it's called, I think Carrots Love Tomatoes, but in my uh, zone, which is zone 8B, South Carolina, you can't really grow carrots in the spring the same time you can grow um, tomatoes. But now since it's fall and I think I can try and grow some carrots around my tomatoes and so that's what I'm going to do around some of these tomatoes in this other forever garden bed. I'm gonna actually put some carrots around them and see how that goes. So with the carrot seeds, I just sprinkled some around the circle, the circumference of the tomato uh, plants inside the cages. And with these radishes, I have this space up front right here and I think I'm just going to plant radishes every so often, maybe every two inches um, along this whole front of this bed and um, go from there. The soil is pretty moist in uh, these beds. I have always had uh, very uh, good success with planting carrots seeds uh, because I just keep the soil moist and <laughs> by just basically watering it every day until it germinates and then I leave it alone after that. So that's what I'll continue to do with this bed. I'm not gonna water in, in right now because like I said, the soil is moist and it's supposed to rain today and tomorrow. If it doesn't rain tomorrow, I'll come out here and water it but I'm so happy to just come out here in the garden really fast and uh, get some of those root crops because they were hanging over my head when I just knew that it's time to start planting uh, things like parsnips. I do, my daughter did plant that one bed, but I actually really like the taste of parsnips and I didn't uh, know that um, I wasn't gonna like that they were such a long growing uh, crop because I've never actually grown them before. That sunset looks so nice right there between those trees. And so when I planted them in the spring, uh, I thought it got too hot for them and so I ended up pulling them out. I actually made muffins out of them even though they were little straggly uh, parsnips, but they still tasted good. So I'm hoping to have at least two full beds of parsnips uh, this fall, but I need to find my other seeds because that bed used up all of one packet of seeds. I don't know if for the next two days, I'll be outside uh, in the garden because like I said, it's gonna be my son's birthday and so we'll probably be celebrating him. Um, so if I do not see you guys again till uh, Monday then, oh, actually Monday, I'm gonna bring him to go get his permit. And so that's gonna be really exciting. But I hope you guys have a great weekend. Our chicken door, we have an automated door and it closes at dusk and every day there's at least two or more chickens. I have a basket right here out that do not make it in before the door closes. Okay, put them in here. Is there more? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You gonna go get it? Look, there's Batman 
who's not going in. Well, why you didn't just catch him? Why you didn't just catch Batman? Oh, nice. Pretty. We actually think some of our new uh, egg layers that we got this spring have started laying because uh, for a couple of days we got some pretty small eggs, like when they first start laying. Um, I know all of, I think all of the spring chickens I got were colorful egg layers. Um, so I wouldn't really be able to tell because we already had blue and green and uh, maybe one or two copper morans. Yeah, we had some browns too, so. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us this quick nightly vlog. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.